My dear child imagine standing on the precipice of an extraordinary journey, where every step reveals deeper truths and unimaginable power. Today, I invite you to embark on a path of initiation into higher revelations where insight meets achievement, and your potential knows no bounds. But hold on this isn't just any ordinary path. It's a journey that will test your resolve, ignite your passions and challenge everything you thought you knew. Each moment is a stepping stone to a new dimension of understanding, and every revelation brings you closer to a realm of profound power and insight. Are you ready to break through the barriers of the ordinary and witness the extraordinary? Get ready, because the adventure begins now. Buckle up as we delve into a transformative experience that will forever change your perception of what's possible. Stay tuned your initiation into greatness is about to begin. As the moonlight bathed the ancient temple in its silvery glow, you stood at the entrance, feeling the weight of destiny calling you forward. The air was thick with anticipation, and the ancient symbols etched into the stone walls seemed to whisper secrets of the ages. Tonight was no ordinary night, it was a night of profound transformation. With each step you took, you could feel the energy of the universe shifting around you. The tarot cards had spoken your being initiated into higher revelations of power, insight, and achievement. It was as if the universe had prepared a grand stage just for you, and you were about to step into the spotlight. As you entered the sacred chamber, you were greeted by the radiant presence of the High Priestess. Her eyes held the wisdom of countless lifetimes, and her aura shimmered with a deep, knowing light. She welcomed you with a serene smile, acknowledging the courage it took to embark on this journey. The room was filled with the soft glow of candles, each one representing a different aspect of your spiritual growth. The High Priestess guided you to a central altar where the major arcana cards lay spread out, each card a key to unlocking new dimensions of understanding and power. The first card you were drawn to was the Magician. Its vibrant energy pulsed with the promise of manifesting your deepest desires and harnessing your innate potential. You felt a surge of confidence as you realized that the power to shape your reality lay within your grasp. Next, the star appeared, bathing the room in a gentle, hopeful light. This card represented insight and healing, a reminder that even in the darkest times, the universe was guiding you towards your highest good. You felt a wave of clarity wash over you, illuminating the path ahead and dispelling any doubts or fears. Finally, the world card shimmered with a sense of achievement and completion. It symbolized the culmination of your efforts and the beginning of a new, expansive journey. You sensed that you were on the brink of something extraordinary, a new chapter where your dreams and aspirations were within reach. The High Priestess spoke softly, her voice resonating with ancient wisdom. You have been chosen for this sacred initiation because you are ready to embrace your true potential. The revelations you receive tonight will empower you to achieve great things and inspire others along the way. As the ceremony concluded, you felt a profound shift within yourself. The power, insight, and achievement that had been revealed to you were now part of your very essence. With a renewed sense of purpose and clarity, you stepped out of the temple, ready to embark on this new chapter with confidence and grace. The journey ahead would be filled with challenges and triumphs, but you were now equipped with the wisdom and strength to navigate it all. The universe had bestowed upon you a powerful gift, and you were ready to embrace it fully, knowing that your path was illuminated by the light of the higher revelations you had just discovered. Now, let's dive into the messages for the collective. The first card drawn is Tavern, which brings to mind a weekend scene filled with social activity. Some of you might be heading out to enjoy drinks at a bar or lounge, perhaps catching up with family and friends. This setting is vibrant and lively, suggesting that social interactions will play a significant role in your weekend plans. If you're anything like me, you might be craving a refreshing mimosa or just looking for a relaxed atmosphere to unwind. Tavern indicates a time for leisure and connection, 
but it's also a reminder that these moments of social engagement can serve as a break from your usual routine. Moving on to the card bustling hub, it depicts a very busy and energetic environment, like a street market or a crowded social space. This could symbolize a need for a break if you've been working hard. If you find yourself constantly on the go, this card suggests that taking some time off to relax and recharge might be beneficial. On the flip side, this card can also indicate that your business or personal projects are about to see a significant increase in activity. If you've been putting in the effort, expect your endeavors to pick up momentum and become more active. Your hard work is about to pay off. The factory card confirms this surge in productivity. It represents a time when your efforts are coming to fruition, and you may see an uptick in your business or creative projects. If you've been waiting for things to get busy or for progress to speed up, the factory card is a sign that this is happening now. Expect a flurry of activity and perhaps an increase in opportunities or responsibilities. Temple signifies a focus on spiritual practice and inner guidance. This card suggests that you might benefit from incorporating spiritual routines into your life, such as meditation, prayer, or seeking spiritual advice. For some, this could mean reconnecting with a higher self or exploring new spiritual practices. If you've been feeling lost or overwhelmed, Temple encourages you to find solace and clarity through spiritual means. It's a reminder that sometimes the answers we seek are within us, and turning inward can provide profound insights and peace. Finally, the Gym card highlights the importance of physical well-being. It's not just about the physical aspect, but also about how exercise can clear your mind and boost your overall energy. Whether you're already active or need to start a routine, integrating physical activity into your life can enhance your mental clarity and emotional stability. This card also serves as a reminder to balance your physical health with spiritual and emotional well-being. Additionally, Tavern can indicate a warning against overindulgence. If you find yourself turning to distractions like excessive drinking or other vices, it's crucial to seek spiritual guidance and focus on inner healing. Instead of external distractions, connect with your higher self and work through your challenges through introspection and meditation. This weekend and beyond, the collective energy suggests a mix of social engagement and heightened productivity. However, it's equally important to maintain a balance by nurturing your spiritual and physical health. Embrace the vibrant social opportunities, stay mindful of your work-life balance, and use this time to reconnect with your inner self. The universe is guiding you toward both external successes and internal growth, so stay open to the transformations ahead. It's clear that significant changes are afoot. The Winding Path card suggests that you're navigating through some unexpected twists and turns in your journey. This could mean that plans are shifting or that new directions are emerging that you hadn't anticipated. Embrace the changes and stay adaptable as you move forward, as these detours may bring new opportunities and growth. The Restaurant card highlights a celebratory phase. It's indicative of joyous occasions and milestones, suggesting that you may be on the brink of celebrating something significant. Whether it's a personal achievement, a work-related success, or a special event with loved ones, this card emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and enjoying these moments of triumph and joy. The Justice card paired with the Hierophant points to important contractual matters or legal agreements that are coming into play. This combination signals that you may be entering into a binding agreement or making significant decisions related to work or legal affairs. It's a time for fairness and adherence to principles, ensuring that any agreements or decisions are made with integrity and a clear understanding of the implications. The bustling hub card suggests that you're going to be involved in a dynamic and vibrant environment. This could mean that you'll be working or engaging with a diverse group of people, and there will be a lot of activity and interaction around you. The Empress card further emphasizes that you'll be surrounded by various energies, which may require you to stay grounded and centered in your spiritual practices. 
With the Temple card appearing, there's a strong emphasis on maintaining your spiritual and emotional well-being. You might be exposed to a lot of different energies, so it's crucial to stay connected to your spiritual practices and rituals. Whether it's through meditation, prayer, or other forms of spiritual nourishment, make sure you're feeding your spirit to stay balanced and centered. The school card suggests that you may be embarking on a new learning journey or acquiring new knowledge. This could involve formal education, self-study, or gaining new skills that will enhance your personal or professional life. It's a period of growth and learning, and you're likely to gain valuable insights or qualifications that will benefit you in the long run. The Three of Pentacles indicates collaboration and teamwork. There's a sense of working behind the scenes with others to achieve a common goal. This could involve a new project, business venture, or creative endeavor where you'll be collaborating with others. Your efforts are being recognized, and there's significant planning and teamwork involved in making this project successful. The King of Wands suggests that this collaboration might involve a leadership role or a creative position. This card points to someone who is charismatic, dynamic, and influential, qualities that will be important in this new phase of collaboration or work. Finally, the King of Pentacles combined with the Devil card signifies a focus on financial stability and material concerns. While the King of Pentacles represents success, security, and wealth, the Devil card could be highlighting potential challenges or temptations related to financial matters. It's important to stay grounded and avoid any pitfalls or unhealthy attachments related to money or material gain. In summary, you're entering a transformative phase with numerous changes and opportunities. Embrace the winding path, celebrate your successes, and stay mindful of your spiritual and emotional well-being. Collaborations and new learning experiences are on the horizon and maintaining balance in your financial and material pursuits will be key to your overall success. For those of you with a spiritual practice or involved in the spiritual community, there's potential for investment in your work. You might find that an investor is interested in supporting your endeavors. This could mean resources to further your education, whether through formal schooling, workshops, or online courses. The winding path suggests that exciting opportunities are ahead. With the Page of Swords, expect communication about this soon. An investor, represented by the King of Pentacles, sees your potential and might offer resources to help you advance. The Star card indicates that your work might gain public attention, and the stars seem aligned for you. This could lead to a lot of recognition for your efforts. The Magician card, paired with celebratory dining, shows that you're manifesting your goals, and celebrations are in order for your achievements. The Justice card and Seven of Cups hint that surprises are coming your way. The Chariot suggests these surprises might be significant and transformative. The Three of Pentacles alongside the King of Wands points to a strong collaboration opportunity. You may be stepping into a leadership role or engaging in a creative project. With the King of Pentacles and Six of Swords, it looks like your path is leading to greater success and public recognition. You might even relocate or start a new venture. The Star card's presence with the Three of Cups implies you'll be celebrating with friends soon. The Knight of Swords and the recurring Three of Pentacles reinforce that collaboration and new opportunities are key aspects of your journey. Overall, be prepared for an influx of exciting developments and partnerships. If you're looking to collaborate or expand your practice, the time is ripe. It seems there's a significant shift happening in your life right now, particularly concerning relationships and opportunities. Here's what the cards suggest. Conflict and communication. There's an ongoing conflict or misunderstanding with someone you're already connected to, whether this is in a work or romantic context. This tension is highlighted by the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords, indicating unresolved issues and a need for clear communication. Changing dynamics, the dynamic between you and this person is about to change. 
There may have been a business relationship that turned personal, or vice versa, leading to some discord. However, this change is imminent and could lead to resolution or transformation in your connection. New opportunities, a new opportunity is on the horizon. The King of Pentacles indicates a potential for financial growth or investment. This may involve learning something new or receiving support that could advance your career or personal development. Healing and Transformation The Star card suggests healing and renewal. It's a time to embrace transformation and prepare for a significant change. You might be moving into a new role or phase, guided by your spiritual insights and the support from both the physical and spiritual realms. Collaborative Efforts the repeated appearance of the Three of Pentacles underscores the importance of collaboration. You might find yourself working closely with others on a new project or venture. This collaboration could lead to public recognition or success. Support and guidance, you have both physical and spiritual support. There are plans being made on your behalf, and you're receiving assistance from the spirit realm. This guidance is leading you towards a major shift or initiation, bringing new achievements and insights. Seasonal changes. The seasonal cards suggest that these changes are aligned with the current time. Whether it's spring or autumn, this season is pivotal for your growth and success. Prepare to celebrate new achievements and milestones as you move forward. Expect communication and potential resolution in strained relationships embrace new opportunities, and prepare for significant transformation and public recognition. You're supported and guided through this transition, leading to a fruitful and successful period ahead. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love.
In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives. Trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the one who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. 
Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then. I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.